In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to load your actions from Shooting Spaces. I'm going to show you how to run the action, how to clone out the base of a monopod or tripod, and how to bring it back into Lightroom. So let's get started. We're in Lightroom, and you can see here we have a rectilinear image, which is a flat 360, which is how my images come into Lightroom. And I am going to need to clone out this monopod base. And you can see it's kind of hard in a rectilinear format. So now I'm just going to right click, edit in Photoshop, and it's going to open up in Photoshop. And now I'm going to load my actions. So I've got my actions window here. I'm going to close it just to show you that the actions window lives up in the windows, actions. Now I'm to load my actions. I'm going to hit this four lines right here, and now I'm going to load actions. And it brings up my download window, where is where my actions go because I downloaded them. So you've got to find them on your computer. So I'm just going to now double click the actions folder. There we go. And it's in Photoshop ready to go. That's how quick and easy it is. So now I'm going to open this up a little drop down arrow and I'm going to removing stands on 360. So I'm just going to highlight that. Now I'm going to run the action by pushing this play button. Here we go. And Right here, the instructions say use clone stamp, healing brush, or patch tool to remove the stand from your image. When complete, press play to finish the process. And a pro tip, zoom in for the most accurate results. So I'm going to hit stop right now, and I'm going to zoom in by hitting command plus. There we go. And I'm now for this, this operation, I'm going to use the, the uh, patch tool right here on the right, as you can see. I'm going to click it, and I'm just going to circle my monopod base. I'm going to bring it up here, and it's gone. So now I'm just going to hit play again on my actions, and it's going to come back as a rectilinear image, and I'm going to hit Command SW, and it saves it to Lightroom. Okay, so now let's just go pick another scenario. Let's do um, some wood floor. Okay, let's do this right here. Okay, I'm going to right click it, edit in Photoshop. I'm going to now just go run my action again. Here we go. And this shows you just how fast and easy it is. I know what this says right now. I'm just going to zoom right in. I'm going to use my patch tool again. I'm just going to go like this. I really like patch tools. It's not for everything, but it's pretty much for for most things that I'm going to be taking out. And there you go. So I'm just going to hit play again, and it brings it back to the format that we need to import back into Lightroom, Command SW. Now I'm going to do a final example for you, and it's something a little more intricate. So I'm going to go pick up this image right here, and this one is a little, real funky carpet, so it's going to be a little different. So I'm just going to right-click it, edit in Photoshop. There we go. And I'm going to run my action again. There we go. I can hit stop because I know what it says. There we go. Now what I'm going to use for this, because it's a little interesting, you got to get creative, I'm going to hit my clone tool. There you go. And I'm basically going to just make it a, my, my brush about this big. I'm going to now sample right here. And I'm going to just drag it around. And it's pretty good. And you know what? It's such a funky carpet that I don't think anybody would ever notice. Uh, but every scenario is different. There we go. And there. And take out this right here. There we go. There you go. So, you can see right here, you're never going to notice it on a 360. And I'm going to hit Command SW. Okay, thank you for hanging out, and uh, if you have any questions, shoot us an email, or, uh, you know, we're, we're in the groups. A lot of ways to get in touch with us, but this is so simple, you shouldn't have any problems. Have a great day. Bye.